Good afternoon, builders. Krosama here. So, in another episode of the Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare app, we're taking a look at the Gundam Barbados and analysis video just to see if this suit is going to be worth your chips and if it's something that if you happen to get what are these parts going to be able to do for you and how you can possibly mix and match it with other ms's uh but this suit in particular the fourth form barbados comes from the anime iron blooded orphans where it's piloted by Mik uh, mikazuki really really good anime i highly encourage anyone to watch it even if you're not a big fan of like maybe um, I would say like the more grounded kind of uh, Gundam shows. I know some people like the over the top or like the super super political stuff. Um, this doesn't really have a lot of that. It's more grounded and it's uh, it's a really good drama. I would say uh, even my wife, who's not into Gundam whatsoever, thoroughly enjoyed it. So I do highly encourage you to you know just give it a watch. And if you like it, hey, there's a second season. Watch the second season and. You know, I don't, I don't think there's anything else really around it. Uh, we're still waiting on the mobile app of uh, I Am Blood Orphans to come out. But other than that, I mean, it's a really good show. Now we'll take a look at the MS. So this MS in particular is going to be very, very melee oriented. Um, more so physical melee oriented. Uh, and that's why you're going to need a lot, a lot of that beefcake power uh, at your arsenal because you're you're not going to be able to sponge up any of this damage that you could be taking. Um, this is just the basic stats. Uh, so just looking at what I have already, obviously the mace is really going to beef up that melee attack. Um, but man, you're not going to have much in terms of physical resistances. Uh, so if you're going uh, against maybe another Barbados, I mean, both of y'all are going to be at a huge disadvantage with each other. But where this thing uh, shines at is that it's going to have a lot of good beam and shot resistance and defenses. So that's something you could really use your advantage in case like you go up to like maybe a new Gundam or you're going up to like um, maybe the original Gundam and they're doing a lot of like firepower at you you can just probably plow right through all that and then you're gonna be able to deliver some heavy heavy blows now the first thing we take a look at is going to be the attributes so uh, pretty much in a bulk you see that Barbados is going to be a power attribute now I did say before power beats speed power does not beat speed it beats technique uh, speed beats power so uh, my fault for saying that in the previous video uh, definitely wanted to uh, just make an amendment to that so yeah power is going to be beating technique MS's uh, basically just doing extra damage not necessarily instant winning uh, but you are going to be at an advantage against the uh, the T mobile suits now I'm going to change it up a little bit from like my previous analysis videos usually I talk about the word tag I'm going to talk about the word tag after I've already talked about all the uh, the parts you know kind of more individually but you can take a look at the word tags that's going to be right there now we're taking a look at the head. The head of the mobile suit is going to be really good in terms of shot attack. It's also going to have really good shot defense. So like I mentioned before, it's really going to be shot defense oriented. Now the shot attack is actually pretty good on this mobile suit, but it's really not going to be relying on the long distance shot. It's going to be relying on close range shot. So that's something you really need to look out for is like what kind of uh, you know weapons are you going to want to use to take advantage of these shots. Now it is going to have a parts trait, so let's take a look at that. So with the power attribute, which you will be a power attribute, now when it says self, it doesn't mean the part, it doesn't mean the pilot, it means the entire MS. So the entire MS needs to be a power. Now not every single part, but you need to have five uh, power parts uh, to make it a power MS. Now with power attribute, close range, or well, close shot attack raise 20%. That's where this thing's going to shine because you can definitely get off some really good shots when you're closing in uh, that gap from where you are in the beginning of the, uh, the battle all the way to getting up into uh, the melee attacking. Now we take a look at the body. So the body does have pretty decent stats. Obviously, you're going to see a zero on that physical resistance, which is going to be unfortunate, but you're going to have super good shot defense and armor. Uh, now let's take a look at the EX ability or EX skill. So it's going to be Fearless Hurl, a physical melee attack. You're going to have B in piercing, D in power. The cooldown is super fast, my boys. Three seconds first time, 21 seconds on the uh, the cooldown afterwards. Charge mercilessly towards the enemy. Lower hit enemies gunplus beam re resistance by 19%. And lower hit enemies gunplus physical resistance by 19 Now, it does say enemies beam resistance. That's not really going to apply to the Barbados. You, you're not going to be using any beam weaponry whatsoever. At least I would hope so. I, ho I would hope you're not doing that. Uh, but lowering your uh, physical, your enemy's physical resistances by 19% is a pretty damn big deal. 19% uh, is going to be a pretty big chunk. So uh, once you use this ability, I mean, just keep wailing on them with the uh, melee attacks. And next we're taking a look at the Barbados arms. These arms are massive when it comes to melee attack. I mean, 2700 is going to be really good. Still uh, putting a lot of capital, uh, well, putting a lot of emphasis on that shot defense. 
Now, it is going to have a pretty cool trait. Uh, in fighter job, melee uh, power boosted 30%. Now, what this means is that your entire MS needs to have that pilot license in fighter. It cannot, you can't just like have a pilot that does happen to have it, but still be an all rounder. You need to be an in fighter uh, to actually gain this trait. But melee power boosted 30%. My boys, that is a lot. You're going to be doing massive damage if you are an in fighter. Now, obviously, when it comes to being an in fighter, you are going to be lacking a lot, a lot of defenses. Uh, you're not going to have the ability to, uh, to block anymore. You're really just going to be, you know, going in there. You can boost uh, your actual in fighter gauge, uh, but otherwise, you're really going to be out there in the open, kind of defenseless. Now, we take a look at the legs. The legs are okay. I think they have really good defenses, uh, pretty much on average. But take a look at that EX skill. So, Menace Shot. It's going to be a physical melee attack. B minus this time. It's going to be a D power. Uh, same cooldown as the previous uh, EX skill. So, jump up high and deliver a brutal flying kick to the enemy. Lowers hit enemy's uh, shot attack by 14%. And lowers the hit enemy's, uh, lit hit enemy's gunplay melee defenses by 14%. So, this is really good both ways. So, with the shot attack, um, that's going to assist you. Like, you, you already have really good defenses. But in case like you just do your EX and you kind of back up, they're going to be doing significantly less damage at that point as well. So on top of your defenses, their attacks will be lowered. So you're really not going to be taking too much uh, after that point. But uh, the fact that you're lowering their melee defenses by 14%, I mean, basically doing both of these EX skills, the uh, the first one and this one back to back, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they stack. I haven't really seen it. I, I, I haven't seen the numbers and I haven't really like you know, try to test that ability out, but I'm pretty sure both will stack. Uh, if not, then it's probably going to be just taking whatever the most recent one is. So if you do like this one first, then the other one's going to come in and that's going to be the one that's going to be taking the, the newest effect. Okay, now we're going to have the backpack. Um, I, I do think this is the weakest part of the entire MS. Uh, maybe the legs, uh, you know, being the second weakest part. So it, it does have pretty decent stats, but the trait is, eh, it's so-so in my opinion. So with uh, power attribute self, melee damage output boosted by 35. Uh, it's just a 35 set damage. So that's good because that's still just added damage. And MS's, uh, I mean, honestly, like two MS's that are around the same like power level, um, you know, there's only a certain amount of you know health they're going to have. And if they're not a recovering type of unit, I mean, they're... The 35 is going to be stacking. I mean, that's every single hit with a melee attack. So, um, it's melee damage. So, that should be going into the EX skill as well. So, you're going to be doing the EX skill that's going to add damage. You're doing the regular melee damage. Uh, that's going to be adding more damage. So, that can be good. Um, but I would, I would probably prefer something else. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later in the video. Now we take a look at its mace. So I've already five starred mine, uh, just because I I do believe it's it's the strongest melee weapon in the game. Um, it's a physical melee weapon at that, so that's going to really assist the Barbados. I mean, hence why it you know it's a Barbados weapon. Of course, it's going to uh, help out the overall suit. But uh, maxing out the stats, I mean, 3,500 is a lot in that uh, attack stat. So that's something you're really going to be benef benefiting from is having just an immense attack. Now, the EX skill is going to be Iron Impact. This is going to be a physical melee attack. Piercing is going to be D. Power is A, so that's really damn good. Cooldown is going to be the first time 20 seconds, and after that, it's going to be 79. So, very, very large cooldown. But I'm, I'm pretty sure if you can last the battle 20 seconds and pull off this attack, I mean, you're golden at that point. Like You are probably going to win the game if this uh, lands. And it has an animation to where it's not like... Uh, you can get canceled out of it unless like maybe the other MS uh, uses a Different animation that has a higher priority, but like I said, I really don't know what the priority stats are I haven't seen two MS's go at it that are using the same exact um, You know skill set or using one that's long-range skill and one that's uh, a short-range skill much like this one uh, But knock back the foe uh, mighty blow with the maze raises shot defense of your squad by 39% I mean, for a one-on-one -on -one battle, whenever Arena comes around, this that secondary effect isn't going to matter because nothing is going to survive this attack. It is it's impossible, especially if you're um, adding in all those extra trait boosts as well as uh, other. Even if you've been attacking, because that's 20 seconds. In 20 seconds, if you already dealt damage, it, this is borderline a guarantee one-hit KO. Now, the Barbados is going to have the sword as well, and this is actually a pretty damn good weapon uh, in the case that you are an in fighter. So, it's kind of like what you want. Like, the other one has a really good EX skill, I believe, probably one of the best EX skills in the game. 
But this one, this one already is going to have, uh, it's going to have the same exact stats as the mace. But in an infighter job, your melee crit ratio is going to, or crit rates is going to be boosted by 30%. So you're going to have higher chances of getting those crits uh, whenever it comes to doing melee. So that's also including your EX skills. So having crit rates on your EX skills is going to be immensely important, uh, maybe in future battles. As of right now, um, I, although I do really want a good crit rate MS, uh, I kind of just opted out for the mace because I, I, I just feel the mace is so much better in every way. Uh, but this sword, if you do have this sword, it's going to be really damn good for your end fighter, no matter if it's Barbados or if it's going to be a different MS. Okay, so we're taking a look at the smoothbore weapon. Um, it is a pretty okay uh, weapon in my opinion. It is physical and it's definitely, uh, its perks is going to be close range, not long range. But there are a lot of other uh, physical weapons, like physical long range weapons that you can definitely use, uh, much like the bazookas. The bazookas as default four stars are going to be really damn good. Um, but this does have an interesting trait. So with close, uh, well, with power attribute self, close shot attack raised 20%. That's where this thing's shining. It's going to be super damn good up close. So it does lack raw power in, in terms of its actual shot attack. So the shot attack being only 1900. Definitely a lot lower. Uh, it's actually going to be almost like 50% lower than the uh, bazooka. But it's still decent. I, I would probably opt out for something else. But for just being a Barbados, uh, Barbados weapon, you're going to be up close anyway. So this is actually going to be something that you, I, I think, would benefit of, uh, benefit from either way. Because you're going in, like I mentioned before, and when you're going in, you can keep firing your weapon as you're dashing forward. So you're racking up that damage with, with each uh, step and each you know shot that you're taking. Now with word tags, you're primarily going to be having protagonists, you're going to have four forests, close combat, and four deserts. So you're going to have some options. The key things you're going to want is going to be that close combat as well as that protagonist because like I mentioned before, terrain I don't think is that beneficial unless you just already, you, you know 100% the battles that you're getting into and then you adjust your MS to actually meet those word tags. But I think just getting getting an extra 3% in all the areas is not going to be as good as getting like 10% in one uh, specific area. So take a look at Protag. Protag, if you have 5, you're going to raise your melee attack 10% while active. That's going to be good. Because obviously we're capitalizing on that, um, on that actual melee attack. Because the more melee attack you have, I mean, you can wipe out your enemy much faster if they're not going to have much on uh, defenses or uh, physical resistances. And then you're going to have close combat. So close combat raises armor 5% and melee attack 5% while active. That's really good. I mean, your your armor is going to be your health. You want to raise your health, but you also want to raise up your melee attack. And that's going to be stacking with your protagonist uh, word tag. So I think getting those two activated is going to be the most important part about this MS. So in terms of pilots, this is the only one that I have that is uh, the, the best end fighter I have. I don't have low, so... This one right here, I think he's pretty good. Just looking at his max values, max values are okay. The, sh the defense is actually pretty good, but he is going to be an end fighter, and that's where we're going to be capitalizing on a lot of our traits. Uh, he, he is also going to have close combat, so that's pretty good. It's going to be another word tag we can go ahead and add to the collection. We're really just going to need uh, about one, I think one or two more at this point. But unfortunately, his trait is not even going to apply to us, so uh, definitely disregard him, but I'll show you exactly who you're going to want. Now, this is the person that you're probably going to want to try and pull for. Uh, he is going to be the best in terms of end fighter right now. But unfortunately, since you are a power MS, um, you're not going to be able to use that trait. So that trait is with speed attribute, all crit rates are boosted by 14%. Yeah, you're a power. So he's still really good because look at that melee attack. That melee attack is going to be super damn good. And the defenses are still going to be okay as well. Only going to be about 100, uh, actually a little bit less than 100 each. Uh, than what we had on our previous unit but yeah he is going to be the one you're going to want for the end fighter as of right now just until we get a pretty damn good uh, end fighter that also has a trait that is going to be more beneficial towards speed attackers or is going to be more neutral now this one is going to have the pro tag word tag so uh, not really gonna be that good because we already have a bunch of uh, pro tag word tags um I would honestly say, like, it's really depending on you. If you do have this one, maybe go with it. But if you want to activate that close combat uh, word tag, go with the other one that I had previous. Now, this mobile suit doesn't naturally come with a shield, so we're going to have to select a shield. What I would recommend is something like the, uh, the GN Shield Exia. 
uh, I'll take a look at this. When armor is 40% or more, EX skill damage output boosted by 8. So that's actually not too bad. Uh, just, I mean, racking up more damage. But it is going to have the close combat that's going to fully um, activate that word tag. Um, some other ones that could be notable. If you're just worried about activating the word tag, I mean, you are going to have the shield from the original Gundam. You can definitely use that. And the divider shield is going to be good if you want to just, you know, utilize an EX uh, ability that's going to have uh, a long range attack. Because you're obviously not going to have any long range attacks outside your smooth bore. But hey, I would probably just go with the GN shield. But let's just take a look at the MS without the shield, kind of more in a natural state. Okay, so now jumping right into the very hard mode for the uh, the Blitz event. And I'm going to show you right here just how much damage this thing is going to be doing. Two hits. That's all it takes. Alright. And yeah, I'm just going to... So the damage, you can see it kind of racking up a little bit. Alright, and yep. Yeah. So, I mean, in terms of actual attack, this thing is going to be really good. It's it's borderline one-shotting some of these enemies as well. Alright, so now we have Blitz on our ass. Uh, so the goal, let's uh, take care of these enemies real quick, and then we'll get to Blitz. Alright, Iron Impact. Oh, no. There. 7,000 damage on that final one. So that's pretty good. And like once again, just reminding you, uh, this suit is not fully maxed out. It's only at like level 35 for everything. And we did do a, a level up, so that's pretty damn good. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really damn cool. Uh, I do love this MS, and I, I think by itself, without any kind of added stuff, it's still powerful. But let's go ahead, and uh, we're going to use the sword. Okay, so we're jumping right into hard mode. Uh, very hard, I think, would have been a little bit too difficult. So the sword, it's... I mean, the sword is level 64 star right now. I think it's doing pretty good. And we're doing some pretty damn good damage with the uh, smooth board at this point. So, yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's not bad. I'm trying to get him to shoot me. I want to see... Uh, so we're only taking 8 damage. Um, that's not bad. That's really not bad. We're going to be doing some quick attacks, so not... Not too slow. We're yeah, we're we're tanking. We're tanking a lot of it, except for that that physical uh, melee is really going to be hurting us right now. All right, all right, bam. All right, so now we got the enemy coming up, the the main boss man. But we still have two ex abilities because we did lose our uh ah. Uh, all right, so that's a little bit short. Got him down. Oh, whoa, whoa, big boy. So he is going to be doing some massive damage to us in terms of uh, melee. Let's get out of there. And bam. So activating that uh, <laughs> activating that infighter ability actually truly helped us out in the long run. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I would say the mace is definitely going to be a lot better because it is going to have that EX ability. But the sword was a little bit faster, and it did, it did seem like the DPS on it was going to be a little bit better. But with the mace, I mean, you're you're hitting them twice. You know, the basic enemies on very hard mode. You're hitting them twice, and they're dead. Uh, this one took a couple of hits. Now they can go ahead and just make a little custom for fun. And so here is our custom. Uh, didn't really do too much. I actually really just kept the mace on it. Uh, I gave it the uh, the GN rifle, uh, well the GN swords rifle mode, uh, and then I also gave it the uh, the GN shield from Exia, both are from Exia, and I also gave it the Exia backpack. So it's pretty much a mix between Exia and Barbados. But uh, the reason I gave it some of these, uh, so for the uh, the backpack, I gave it because I do want that Trans Am raid, and I'll show you what Trans Am raid is going to be doing. So Trans Am Raid is going to be an attacking EX skill. Uh, it's going to be A in Power, which is super damn good. D in Piercing. It's going to be, uh, first time is going to be 30 seconds, so you got to wait a little bit. It is going to be categorized as a B melee, but that's not what we're truly trying to get. It's still going to be melee oriented, uh, so it's still going to have a lot of attack. But the thing we're going to want is going to be raise melee attack of your squad by 30%. After you deal this, you deal this first. This is the kind of like the game plan I have. 
you deal this first and then afterwards you go into your mace's ex skill uh, and then you just you're going to be unleashing a large attack and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about now i did choose a different pilot so i chose say sachi he is the dragon gundam's pilot uh, the reason I chose this is because this parts trait is going to be outfighter job, EX skill cooldown reduced by 6%. So I made him an outfighter. He's he's going to have an actual defense now. He's going to be able to be uh, blocking attacks, but also he's going to have his cooldown rate reduced by 6, uh, 6%. So that's immense. And if he was max value, uh, it would be 20%. So I'm definitely on the lookout to try and get this guy because he has great melee attack. His defenses are really good, but also because, hey, cooldown rate, uh, 20% reduction, hey, that's fantastic. All right, so we're doing very hard mode for the event once again, and let's just go ahead and uh, I'm going to see. So we're doing a lot more damage with this, but it is also a, uh, it's, it's a little bit better in terms of uh, its attack and level, so. All right. Bam. One hit. Well, So it's doing a little bit less uh, impact, I, I thought. Yeah, so we're not doing the, the two hitters because we did uh, reduce our uh, melee attack um, because we, we stopped being an end fighter, became an out fighter. And, you know, it took a little bit of percentages off, but we're going to be doing a lot better. And I'll show you. We'll do uh, Fearless Hurl. That's not going to be one hitting like it normally did. Oh, my God. All right, I want to let's do Trans Am. Some good attack. All right. Now where's old boy at? So now we're gonna do Iron Impact, and I'll, let's look at that. Ten thousand damage, my boys. Wait, where's she come from? Wait, what? That was weird. I didn't know she was here. But yeah, that's that's some immense damage, my boys. Immense damage. But hey, that's it for me, guys. So um, this is going to be like one of my MSs I would definitely like to climb the ladder with. Uh, and that kind of leads me into one thing I want to ask you. Uh, whenever the arenas are fully, fully back, they only last a week. Uh, from what I've seen uh, whenever, whenever they were released, they are going to be a weekly bracket. So that's kind of like the time frame where you actually are climbing. Uh, would you want to see me climb that ladder, uh, do like daily videos of me doing uh, the three battles, but only doing it with one particular MS and maybe an MS that you guys uh, request? And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, I really do enjoy making these for you guys. Uh, so in the comment section below, please let me know what uh, what MS you want to see next. I'm going to try and do these type of videos maybe twice a week if possible. If not, then once a week is going to be my thing. Uh, but especially with the uh, the events, I think I might have to try and do uh, twice a week if possible. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, let me know exactly in the comment section below what MS you want to see get analyzed next. And like always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.